All right, well, I think this is kind of dumb overall, but whatever, I'm kind of being forced into this. Hi, I'm Rowan O'Flynn, and I'm a half-elf from Burgetide, about 25 years old, if that matters. I'm around 5'8", have more slender of a build. Not everyone could be out powerlifting swords or some bullshit, you know? I've got tan skin with a smatter of freckles on my face, green eyes, red slightly curly hair that's in a low ponytail. I don't really tend to shave. I've got a few piercings in my ears thanks to my sister, and there's a scar that goes to my right brow thanks to... <sighs> well, okay. It doesn't matter. This, this whole thing doesn't matter. <clears throat> Anyway, back back to what we were doing. So I've lived here in Bargetide almost all my life after being dropped off from the Ascendancy when I was around five years old. I grew up with my father Eamon and my twin sister Bria. He was a harpooner or a sea monster hunter, so Bria and I were each other's company a lot while growing up. I never had a super close relationship with my father like my sister did. Instead, I found myself growing closer to his captain, Shamar Blackbarrow. The captain entertained Brea and I with tall tales and superstitions grown up, and also ended up teaching me his first language, Abyssal, after I kept hanging around his ship so much. <laughs> Brea and I grew up with pretty different goals in mind. She wanted to be an adventurer like in all the stories, help people, travel, maybe even find our mother one day. I was fine with just supporting her from the sidelines. She had finally convinced me to go with her. And that week we were supposed to leave, I was with Shamar for a short trip, and in the middle of the night, I felt compelled to go up on the deck. In the distance, there was an, an enormous form marching through the ocean, its head reaching through the clouds. It had glowing white eyes that narrowed as we made eye contact, Then it just turned around and continued walking towards the deeper ocean. It, 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 it was fucking insane. I... I, I never actually told anyone about it. I kind of thought I was going crazy or just seeing things. Maybe maybe I should have said something to someone. Maybe it was just an omen of things to come, I guess. Who fucking knows now? A week after seeing that thing in the ocean, my entire world fell apart. When Bria was murdered by a gang called the Gnarled Hooks. Be about five years ago now. In looking for revenge, I signed a pact with a patron I only know as the Keeper. I've done everything it's asked of me the last five years, including stealing eyes from people. I never questioned it, I just needed its power in order to get what I wanted. So far, I've had no luck in trying to hunt down the people responsible for Bria's murder. The only person I've trusted to tell everything to is my friend Captain Saida. I met her shortly after Bria's death and have grown to see her as a trusted friend and confidant the past few years. The only real one I have. Everything changed when I had a chance run-in with a shifter named Dalton and an elf named Fierney, which later found out was actually a changeling. The two were taking a job with a captain called Bloody Maggie, a former gnarled hook, so of course I tagged along. Got a measly journal out of the gig, which Saeed of course took from me before I could read it as incentive to work with the other two a while longer. I guess she thinks I need to make more friends. It, it was just after that, Alton left and didn't come back. Not that I can blame him with the shit we went through. Things once again in my life completely flipped upside down when the Keeper mentally drugged me to its lair and ordered me to kill Saida. Wanted something from her that it needed to set itself free. I refused, and I think it was gonna kill me. When time was stopped, and someone drug me through some magic door that had appeared behind me. That person ended up being me, but from a different dimension or world. I, I don't I don't know. I, I know it's fucking insane, trust me. Uh, it's still hard for me to even process what the fuck happened. But uh, long story short, I'm something called All Risen, and because of that, I actually had a chance to pick a new patron. I ended up picking an archfey called Vizier as my patron. But he struck out a deal with some fiery wolf god, so I could get some power from him as well in return for doing some favors. Ah, uh, it's definitely been quite the adjustment from the Keeper, but I'm getting used to it. And whether through Fierney's bad luck, or maybe mine, I guess, looking at everything, we've met some interesting people to say the least. Ran into some snarky looking high elf who said his name was Felinor Greywind. 
He was a fucking asshole sticking his nose where it didn't belong. But he did end up leaving Fierny, our new traveling companion, Marie, and myself some very powerful magical items that seem specialized almost to each of us. Also implied he had known Bria as well, but refused to answer any of my questions, of course. Hasn't really done anything actively to harm us yet, but I still don't trust him, and I find myself wondering what his goal is with our little group. It's definitely hard some days while searching for answers, knowing that I'm basically living the adventurer dream right now that Bria had been striving so hard for. It's, um, it's hard some days while searching for answers, knowing that basically I'm living this adventurer dream right now that Bria had been striving so hard for. But I'm going to get answers, and I'm going to do it for her. I'm going to get my revenge.